If you want to translate your document into another language, then come with me, neighbor. Up here, click on the Review tab, go to the Language Group, and click on Translate. And you get three options. You can translate the entire document, or just the select part of the document, or do a mini translator. I'm just going to focus on Translate Selected Text, and then you can, from there, get the basics and go ahead and do the entire document or the mini translator. Let me go ahead and select my text first, then come back up here to translate it, the selected text that is, click on it, and it says to translate it, we're going to send it over the internet in a secured format to Microsoft or a third-party translation service. Do you want to proceed? Yes. And it opens up the task pane. And it says it's translating it from English to Spanish, Spain, which is something I did previously, so that's why it's Spain here, as opposed to something else. You can click on the drop-down arrow and say you want it in Russian. And then the moment you do that, you don't have to click the Go arrow. Down below, there's Russian, which I don't understand. So I can go ahead and do that, or choose something else, like I did with Spanish, Spain. Updates it, and it's primero, que son los asitas, es... Okay, it's good to know you're having fun at my expense. Well, fine. I'm just going to get done with this video then and go ahead and click on Insert. When I click on it, it inserts it over the selection, or you can click on the drop-down arrow and copy it and paste it somewhere else. Now, after you insert it, remember it came from English to Spanish, and the rest of it's English, so it's got the English dictionary looking at it. And it's going, that's not how you spell something in English. We don't even recognize that. So if you want to find out if that's spelled correctly, then go ahead and select the text, that's in Spanish, then come up here on the Review tab to the Language Group, and let's click on Language, and say you want to set the proofing language, click on it, and set it to Spanish for the selected text. And you can, of course, scroll through here and find out other languages, but for the selected text it is in Spanish, so we want to proof it in Spanish, and say okie dokie, and it gets rid of the red squigglies because those are no longer misspelled according to the Spanish dictionary. And while you have this open, you can see what it was searching for. You can come up here and modify that and just say, now let's just look for essential oils. Click go from English to Spanish again. And there we go. There's essential. So you can do it in the research task pane as well. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.